Well, I'll say, um, first off, we you know, we're excited about the win. Anytime you get a conference win, it's a big deal. Um, and you go in the locker room and you get the news about Kobe Bryant and our team, our staff, it, we were just gut-wrenched. I mean, it was, it was tough. It was tough to, honestly, it was really tough for me to even address our team. And that's a, that's a, a big figure. And um, same thing that Renaya said, I told the team, you know, sometimes it, it, you hope it doesn't, but sometimes it takes big events like that to really put things in perspective. We just played a game. We played a game. And um, life's so much bigger than that. And, and hopefully we don't take that for granted. Kelly, we had asked Nikki, of course, the same thing, and she said, you know, I'm going to go hug Justin a little bit tighter when I get out of here. Just, I mean, as a mother, as a as a coach, I mean, it just sort of, like you said, it just sort of, un, 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 you feel like you've just been unraveled. Right. Well, I think also for me, you know, you just, I don't know, it's everybody. I mean, you look at your staff, you want to hug your staff. You know, our players were, um, you know, that's, He's a hero to a lot of people, and a lot of them are on our staff and on our team. And uh, it's just more than that. I don't know. It's just, again, it's just life. Life, and we are so blessed. We are so, so, so blessed. John. Kelly, you guys are 16 and 4, only one SEC loss, nationally right. Do you feel like you've overachieved to this point or underachieved? Or or that record is right where you, sh you think your team is? Oh, I'm sure every coach would say they've underachieved. You know, <laughs> every coach wants more. I think, you know, it'll, it will be hard for me to really make that declaration until our season's over. So I can really, you know, have a hindsight view of it and, and, and look, look back on the entire season. Because right now, you know, I'm, I'm looking at at our team and what we can do and uh, wishing we could play the Kentucky game again. You know, I mean, so I, I think we're, you know, you're all, you always want more. You always try to find ways to get more. Yeah. Jada McCoy felt like today was the most that she had played in a while. What did you see from her to make that decision? And then what did you think of her performance? Yeah, you know, I thought um, there, there have been some, some rotations. We just, we needed to shake things up a little bit with our with our rotations, and she has been practicing so well. And uh, sometimes it's hard to get good minutes for uh, for more than four post players. And so um, I, I thought, you know, I felt that way after our UConn game. I wanted, I came into this game wanting to give Jade more minutes, and she was terrific in practice yesterday. So it was, you know, sometimes these players they don't they don't know. You know how important every single practice is. She was fabulous and uh, just gave me even more confidence to, to get her in there more minutes. And she came in and gave us exactly what we needed her to give us. She was physical, she was aggressive, um, and, and had a plus 10 on the day. And that's, a, that's a good sign. Gustavo and Dan. What's all your conversation with the team on the first time out when they were down by seven, couldn't score? And then after the time out, the team kind of like, you know, start scoring again and took on the lead. How was that time out changed? It? I think the outcome of the, the game. Yeah, well, we changed our defense. I think that helped us, and it helped us with a little bit of tempo, got us a couple of uh, um, easy baskets. But also, you know, I think our players just needed to settle down a little bit. Um, you know, we felt like we were getting some pretty good looks. We got to the free throw line a lot in that first half and, um, and just didn't make them. But, you know, our – our offense, our offensive execution was actually okay against a team that makes it hard. I mean, they, their defense, they mixed up so much, it's hard to get a beat on on uh, what you can do offensively to get in a rhythm. Dan and then Caleb. How much more of a challenge was this game given the way they were rebounding? They were very aggressive and and, and also kind of related to that, was, was Key under the weather or something today? I mean, she's, I think she only played like 16, 16 minutes. No, you know, we, um, no, she was fine, and, and there wasn't anything. Um, I thought she struggled a little bit in the first half, but you know we had some other people come in and, and give us a real spark, and we needed to play them. Uh, obviously, late we, we put her back in there for defensive purposes. You know, um, 
going into this game, you know this is a really good rebounding team. They're physical and they're athletic. And um, they were relentless to the boards. And, you know, we're mixing up our defenses. I didn't think we boxed out in any of our defense, to be quite honest with you. So it's going to be a, an area of emphasis that, that we revisit this week. Caleb, okay, well, in the back. Coach, I wanted to go back to Kobe Bryant for one more thing. I wanted to ask you, but, you know, when you remember watching him play growing up, whatever it may have been, what do you remember about the way he played the game, the way he carried himself, and things like that? Um, you know, for me, uh, he was just so skilled and so athletic and loved the game, right? Just loved the game. And, you know, for me growing up, my favorite player was always Michael Jordan. Always Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. And Kobe was the closest thing to that that I ever saw, you know, with, with how he played, how he loved the game, his competitive fire and his drive. Um, you know, that, that will always be remembered. Yeah. With the UConn game, there's so much going on around that. Y'all visited the ESPN studios and then the emotions of the game, the quick turnaround against a tough team. How do you feel like your team handled those couple of days? Uh, handled it in terms of coming out of the game or going into yeah, the Yeah, going into the LSU game. Oh, oh, I thought we, hats off to our team because I think what we just had to do was very difficult. They, This was, um, you know, we're coming off a, a, a lot of emotions spent tough game. We had, we had to be off on Friday. I think LSU was coming off seven days. So they were coming off seven days. Um, you know, it's going to be a physical game. We had to mentally and emotionally get past that UConn loss to be able to lock in and focus today. I was really, really proud of our team. Proud of our staff for helping them get there. Those uh, two shots by Jasmine in the fourth quarter, how huge were those? Because LSU was right